When I was little, my father was famous. He was the greatest samurai in the empire. He cut off the heads of 131 lords. Hey everybody, Jerry Williams, AK Greater Sapien here. Thanks for stopping by. Today we're diving into number 103 of Eric Dubay's 200 Proofs Earth is not a spinning ball. Dubay says, there are several constellations which can be seen from far greater distances over the face of the earth than should be possible if the world were a rotating, revolving, wobbling ball. For instance, Ursa Major, very close to Polaris, can be seen from 90 degrees north latitude, the North Pole, all the way down to 30 degrees south latitude. For this to be possible on a ball earth, the southern observers would have to be seeing through hundreds or thousands of miles of bulging earth to the northern sky. Hmm. No. <laughs> okay. I'm curious as to how many of these I've started off just saying no. But that's the answer to the first part of this claim. Seen from far greater distances over the face of the earth than should be possible. No. What we see fits perfectly with the globe model and it does not fit with the concept of a flat Earth, as I explained in the last claim. You see, Ursa Major is a big constellation. It spans a whole lot of sky, from about 30 degrees de declination to the north, so plus 30 degrees, all the way to about plus 73 degrees. So, Dubay says that you can see Ursa Major at 30 degrees south, and that's too far for a globe. Well, if I've said it once, I've said it at least once. And that's if you want to criticize the globe, you have to understand what the model says. And Dubay seems to have forgotten what the model says. And the globe model says if you take your latitude on the surface of the Earth and subtract and add 90 degrees, that will tell you the range of declinations you can see stars. So at 30 degrees south or minus 30, you can see stars of declinations uh, south to the celestial pole and as far north as 60 degrees, and that's plus 60 declination. That means all but the northernmost stars in Ursa Major will be visible to you. This simple fact of the globe model means if someone says you should or should not be able to see a star or constellation, you can easily check the claim. Like, for example, claim 104, where Dubay says, the constellation Volpecula can be seen from 90 degrees north latitude all the way to 55 degrees degrees south latitude. Taurus, Pisces, and Leo can be seen from 90 degrees north all the way to 65 degrees south. An observer on a ball Earth, regardless of any tilt or inclination, should not logically be able to see this far. So, let's use the rules according to the globe model to establish what the visible range is at 55 degrees south. That's minus 55. And if we add 90 degrees to that, we get plus 35 meaning someone will be able to see stars as far north as 35 degrees declination. The northernmost stars of the Pecula are about plus 30, so that conforms with the globe model prediction. From 65 degrees south, constellations as far north as plus 25 declination can be seen. Taurus ranges from about 0 to plus 30, so most of that one can be seen. Pisces and Leo from minus 6 or so to plus 33, so most of them can be seen as well. As you can see, Dubay's argument, oh, wait, he's more to add. Number 105 says, Aquarius and Libra can be seen from 65 degrees north to 90 degrees south. The constellation Virgo is visible from 80 degrees down north down to 80 degrees south, and Orion can be seen from 85 degrees north all the way to 75 degrees south latitude. These are all only possible because the hemispheres are not spheres at all, but concentric circles of latitude extending outwards from the central North Pole with the stars rotating over and around. This one has a bunch of exclamation points. He means business. Let's see. All of these cross the celestial equator, so right off the bat, anyone with a basic understanding of astronomy could tell you the range would, would be very wide. The range of declination for Aquarius is from minus 24 2 plus 3, seeing it as far north as 65 degrees, so let's see, minus 24 plus 90 equals plus 66. Yep, that works. 
Libra's southernmost declination is minus 30, so at plus 65, most of it is visible. Check. Virgo, south to minus 23 and north to plus 15, so pretty much completely visible at plus and minus 80. And Orion is only minus 11 at max, so all the important parts are visible at 85 north, and Orion's shoulders aren't even 10 degrees north, so all the good stuff is fully visible at 75 south. Okay, as I was saying, as you can see, Dubay's argument relies heavily on a lack of understanding of how viewing angles work on a globe. Dubay's claims aren't just wrong, they're misleading by oversimplification. Observational astronomy and the mechanics of how we view constellations are well documented and understood. But we've seen this before with Dubay and pretty much every flat earther in existence. The willingness to ignore fundamental understandings and not check the facts. Is anyone surprised by this? That's my job! That's what I do! I don't lose! I win! I win! Is there no one on this planet to even challenge me? Maybe you came by to congratulate me on last night's victory. 